the best chelating agent for good health. What is it exactly? Here's a quick overview. While reading about detoxing, you may come across a term that you've never heard before. This term is chelation. It is a scientific process where ions from different chemicals bind to each other. That is, they stick to each other. So just exactly how does a chelating agent work? Well, when there's a toxin in your body, like mercury or lead, a chelating agent is needed to bind to the toxin. Once the heavy metal has made an ionic bond with the chelating agent, your body can then eliminate it. It does this via the excretory system, which is generally the renal system. So basically, you pee it out. There are a lot of things on the market claiming to be chelating agents, but in fact, they're actually very poor chelators. There are many popular myths surrounding chelation. A good chelating agent will have been proven scientifically to get rid of things like lead and mercury. One popular chelating agent is chlorella. This is an algae that grows in ponds. All the hype about chlorella being a good chelating agent comes from one single observation, which was not even a proper study, that showed the levels of mercury being lowered in a pond because of chlorella. So, all the marketing wizards started saying, take this chlorella, it will detoxify your body. Well, this is completely incorrect because the chlorella needs to be alive for it to function as a chelating agent. When you take chlorella as a supplement, it is dead and will do nothing for you. So you're basically wasting your money eating dead chlorella. So what exactly is a proven chelating agent? Why not turn to the FDA and see what they approved? Turns out they've only approved one substance as a scientifically proven chelating agent, and that is dimer capto-succinic acid. Big mouthful, but the short form is DMSA. DMSA was approved as being safe and beneficial for use in children to remove lead. It also removes 22 other toxic heavy metals without removing any beneficial minerals. Basically, it only chelates substances that are foreign to the body. During the 1960s, DMSA replaced BAL as well as EDTA, making it the U.S. standard of care for the treatment of heavy metal toxicity caused by heavy metals such as lead, arsenic, and mercury. Currently, DMSA is still the U.S. standard of care. For those of you interested, here is the chemical structure of DMSA. As you can see, it is a relatively simple compound. DMSA in the media. You might think you've never heard of DMSA. Well, actually you might have. The TV show House mentions it, mentions it all the time. Sure, it's just a show, but they use actual medical doctors as advisors. In fact, I believe there's 22 on staff. Yes, the show is sensationalistic, or people would not watch it. It is also accurate medically. House will often prescribe captamer or chemet or succinic acid to deal with cases of heavy metal poisoning. So next time you watch House, watch for these words, because they're all words for DMSA. So, how exactly do you go about obtaining genuine DMSA? Contrary to popular belief, DMSA is available without a prescription in many countries, including the United States. You can get it with a prescription, but it is very expensive as it often has to be compounded by your local pharmacist. The usual price for this is about $2 per pill. You can buy DMSA online, however, from reputable sites such as dmsachelation.com for about $0.65 cents a pill. DMSA is an over-the-counter product, so there are no problems getting it delivered to your home.